Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. In this series, we have been creating this animation from scratch all inside After Effects. We've built our scene, we've optimized the effects, and in this video, we're gonna go through the latest After Effects features that can really help us with rendering. The main new feature in After Effects 2022 that's gonna help us with render speed is multi-frame rendering which has been the most requested feature. And this helps with the previewing as well, not just the final render. And it does that by taking more advantage of your CPU, especially if you have multiple cores, and it does that by rendering more than one frame at a time. On a mid-range system, you could expect a 1.25 to two times faster render and a 2.5 to four times faster render on a higher end system. Another feature in After Effects 2022 that helps us render and playback faster is speculative preview which will automatically render frames around your playhead to the cache in the background while you're not using After Effects. So you can leave for a cup of tea and come back with your scene ready for some smooth playback. And you can turn that on and off in Preferences, Preview, and you can also select the delay for how long After Effects will wait while you're idle before it starts previewing in the background. So now let's render our final animation. We can go up to Composition and add to Render Queue or use the shortcut Control M. And the render queue has also been redesigned and is displaying a lot more relevant information. Let's hit render. The completion bar now has an additional green section that shows what frames are currently rendering. And we get a lot more information in the new info panel as well. We can see the current frames per second, the average time per frame, and the number of frames concurrently rendering. We also get the time elapsed, the time remaining, and the estimated file size as well. And the feature I'm probably most excited about is the ability to receive remote notifications. We can select notify on any file in the queue and when it's finished rendering, it will send you a notification from the Creative Cloud desktop or the mobile app and even a smartwatch if that's connected to your mobile device. So you can go about your regular business while rendering and know when it's ready. Alternatively, instead of using the render queue, we can export directly with Adobe Media Encoder. We can add it to the queue by clicking this button down here in the render panel or using the shortcut Control plus Alt plus M or Command Option M on a Mac. Now there are two main benefits of using Adobe Media Encoder. Although rendering out of After Effects is generally faster, in Media Encoder, you can keep working on After Effects while your project is exporting. And you can also use additional presets and settings specific to Media Encoder. So if you're going to be uploading to Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, or YouTube, there are presets optimized for all of those platforms at different resolutions. So if you want to export directly to an MP4, you can do that in Media Encoder. And Media Encoder makes use of that new multi-frame rendering as well, so you still get that rendering speed increase. So animation is finished, it is all rendered and is ready to upload. And along the way, the new After Effects features has really helped us with a more efficient workflow.